And in today's episode, I'm going to talk about how we can use Logic's own flex pitch to tune vocals. This is the track I'm going to use today, and it was a track I did with an artist called Natalie, and it's called Crystal. So these are all the takes that Natalie did, and I'm going to take the first take because it was obviously when she was still warming up, it was the most inconsistent uh, tuning wise, so I'll use that. Okay, so the first step we want to do is we want to activate the channel for flex pitching. So there's a couple of ways that we can do that. We can either press Command and F, which will bring up this icon here, and then we can click that to on. It will analyze the file. Once it's done that, we can then select flex pitch. Another way we can activate flex on the channel is by clicking the channel and going to the left here and saying flex pitch, and then going up to the top and enabling flex there. Then once it's done your analysis, you should see your region looking like this. So we now know that the track's ready for editing, which we can do in two ways. First way is holding down Option and going around the section that we want to enlarge, and that will enlarge it on your Arrange page and not go into Edit, but you can still make the edits for each single phrase as you would like. The other option is for you to highlight the part and press E, and then make sure that track is selected and that you have the flex icon ticked as well. And then you will see all the parameters that flex analysis has done on your file so far. So when I now zoom into the first phrase, you can see that these are the notes that it's found and it's created MIDI looking boxes that we can start manipulating. Okay, so each one of these boxes is a note. You have six little dots that are around that box. They are the dots that are going to be able to control this note. So first you have gain. Gain is pretty simple. You can click and hold and just turn the volume up and down as you like. This could be very handy if you've got something really quiet that you want to push up. So then above that we have pitch drift. This decides how this previous note slides into this note. So in this particular case, it kind of drags out from, from being flat, it drags into it. So it's actually in tune around this point there and there because the middle of this bar is 100% in tune. So the slight top end of this bar is a little bit sharp and the bottom of this line is where it's starting to go flat. So pitch drift decides how you slide into that note. Then we go to the next one, and the next one says fine pitch 23. So that's telling us that it's flat by 23 of 100. So that's about a quarter of a note under. So if we wanted to have that straight, we would have that straight. But what you've got to be aware of is that this line here defines how much on the top end of that note it is and how much on the bottom end of that note is. So this is 100% of a note, and that's the top end of that note going into the next note and then the bottom end. So to reiterate one more time, if this fine pitching is exactly at zero, then the middle of this bar along there is exactly in tune. Therefore, this vocal line that shows you that the, the tuning is going to the top actually shows you that that is plus half a semitone. And if it's right at the bottom, which this one isn't, but say it was right at the bottom, it would be minus half a semitone. The third one is pitch drift, but it's coming out. So again, it's pitch drift from this note to that note, or if I move the note up from this note to that note going up. So then we get to form and shift. Form and shift is quite a difficult one to explain. It is like a toning. So it's either a, a, a kind of a person on helium toning or, or a really low roar, a really low tone like that. So again, I will show that when we're working on the vocal, we can have a, a bit more of a look at that. Then the next dot is vibrato. This is the vibrato that's in that particular note. We can either reduce it or increase it. Rarely would you want to increase it, but you would sometimes you would want to decrease it. Maybe at the end of a line, you want it to be less kind of vibrato-ish, or maybe there's one note that seems to feel kind of weak because it's got a lot of vibrato on it, and then you can straighten that up a little bit. But be careful with how you use that because it starts sounding very computerized if you overuse it. The other thing you can do is you can grab the note and pitch the note up by a semitone or two semitones or whatever you want to do. So if, for instance, you wanted to pitch the whole of this line up, you can highlight all of them and just pitch them all up at once. And finally, right clicking or control clicking on one or multiple note boxes will give you these undo options.